Okay, we uh, uh, will call the September 7th, 2017 Tree Advisory Commission meeting to order. We'll start with uh, a welcome, of course, and then introductions. Tom, you want to start? Tom Schmitz with the Park and Recreation Department, advisory member. Uh, Arlen Body, Tree Commission. Wayne Shopper, Tree Commission. Lisa Langer, Tree Commission. William Swanson, uh, Public Utilities. Craig Curry, Public Works Superintendent. Steve Kaler, City Engineer. Attached, we have the uh, uh, agenda for today's meeting. Uh, do I have a move to approve the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, either to amend or approve the uh, today's agenda? Um, I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second that. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Excellent. The uh, agenda is approved as presented. Uh, let's take a look at the minutes from our last meeting uh, of uh, July 19th, 2017. Uh, the adjourned minutes. Uh, has everyone had a chance to take a look at them? And when you feel comfortable, let's have an, a, a motion to uh, approve that. I, I do have a slight correction. Okay. Under four, under old business letter E, where it says that volunteers meet once a week for discussion that should meet that should say volunteers months a meet once a week to do the inventory okay okay who is who does their amending on that or how does that work i don't know right. uh we'll make sure that um sue body uh, has a chance to adjust the minutes okay otherwise i'd make an, a motion to approve with those changes. Yes, I second that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 So, uh, motion passed to approve the minutes from the uh, July 29, 2017 meeting. Moving on, old business, uh, A, tree, uh, city tree reimbursement program budget, Steve Kaler. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Right out on your uh, packet, right after the uh, agenda or uh, minutes is the <clears throat> City Tree Reimbursement Spreadsheet, you can see the top portion is devoted to the reimbursement program, which you had 4,300 budgeted for in this particular fiscal year. We planted 26 trees at a total cost of just under $4,700, reimbursed just under $2,800, so you still have approximately 1,500 available in that uh, program, and fall tends to get a few more trees planted, so I think you're doing quite well in that that area with regard moving on to the budget for 2017 you can see the budgeted amount was 6,000 you had a 5,800 5, carryover for 11.8 available and you'd use 7,300 approximately so you still have about 4,500 available in this year's budget any questions thank you uh, item B under old business, PUC tree reimbursement programs in budget 2017. Mr. Swanson. All right, uh, commissioners, uh, if you uh, see the um, I guess piece of paper that's been uh, laid out before you, uh, that includes the summary of our latest um, budget for the relief program. So you can see through, uh, I guess, the end of August, we've spent $1,092 on the relief program. And then there's quite a few rebates that have been submitted but uh, have not been closed out uh, either due to uh, not receiving a receipt or just not having the paperwork completed at this time. Um, our general budget for uh, the next coming year um, will be three thousand dollars is what we've set um, currently thank you excellent items c and d um, uh, the buckthorn uh, removal volunteer program update by uh, ellen van cura and the garlic mustard by mr gartner they are not present so we'll move on to item e min green core uh Omersa, Schnobrick, and schmitz Mr. Schmitz, do you have an update on that? Yes, yes. Thank you, Chair Shopper and Commissioners. Um, the, I'll go through a variety of updates here with the Green Corps program. First of all, um, our participant for 2016-2017, Shane Omersa, uh, completed his first year, the 11-month year, and um, was awarded. You know that we were awarded to be a host site 
um, this next year, 2017, 2018, and he was awarded to be placed here. Um, and so his second year will begin um, next Wednesday, September 13, with three days of training in St. Paul, and then he'll back he'll be back in the office for the begin of his year two, Monday the 18th of September. So he's got a four week break here. Um, he's taking some time off and uh, he'll be back in the saddle soon. So I'll just kind of go over some of the items in the packet uh, related to him and his work. Uh, let's see here, page six of the packet begins with the 2016-2017 host site uh, final report. <coughs> Uh, so you you have that before you, and uh, it'll be available on the web on the city website also. You know some uh, interesting information about his first year, his accomplishments, and some of his challenges, and <coughs> so on. That is about a five-page document, I think, and uh, it, the last page is nine, um, four-page document of the PDF. And then I'm on page 10 of 69 of the PDF. This is his, um, his first draft of what might be referred to as uh, the City of New Ulm Tree kind of urban forestry management plan. It's a fluid document, dynamic, um, ever-changing. And so he did a lot of writing and composing in this. I'm going to go by page numbers of the PDF. Uh, I'm 11. I'm on page 12 of the PDF. You know, uh, a lot of information about his year and his various activities, including public outreach, Arbor Day, spring planting, the EAB plan, uh, the nursery stuff, tree inventory, um, and so he's not only listed um, his activities over the his first 11 months, his first year, but also uh, presenting some opportunities and recommendations. Here now I'm on page 18 of the PDF. Uh, suggestions and recommendations for the community and for the city. You know, I encourage you to take time to review this um, and you know, help us to create maybe a, a list of priorities for the future. What you view as uh, as a high priority. Uh, and versus a lower priority given our limited time and limited funding. Um, and then he's also included references, uh, page 22, and uh, page 23 begins his department questionnaire where he, where he asked each department um, that may have some involvement in tree work to answer some questions. Um, and so that's the survey, and I think he's got uh, results of that survey <coughs> also in here. I'm uh, down to about now page 32 of the PDF, where he's included some um, articles and some publications from other periodicals and journals, uh, including the Journal of Arboriculture, there, January 97, the model for urban forestry sustainability. You know, so, so he's referencing some other urban forestry uh, information and data so that we don't have to, re, you know, invent the wheel, so to speak, or reinvent the wheel that we can we can glean from other communities and other cities what they what has maybe worked in urban forestry and, and what 
um, has not necessarily worked uh, well elsewhere in the country, including the upper Midwest especially. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to continue down. Just to finish going over his documents. Okay, here's another uh, article, page 46 of the PDF. Criteria and indicators for strategic urban forest planning and management. Uh, more reference material for, for us. Canopy cover is a big uh, topic and a, a big category uh, apparently for municipalities. Hmm in urban areas where they, uh, they use canopy cover as a key indicator and a, 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 a key uh, part of their matrix. Um, I want to get down to the next item. Okay, here we go. Page 56 has got our host site agreement signed by the state of Minnesota and uh, our city manager for 1718. So we have this information. These are the do's and don'ts uh, in the official legal agreement between the state and the city related to next year's uh, host site and program. And the next document in the packet that I want to point out is the work plan, the t next year's work plan, 2017-2018 work plan begins on page 66 of the packet. <clears throat> So that's a document that will be um, referred to and, and guide next year, which begins in just a couple weeks. And again, it's an 11 month program funded through AmeriCorps, uh, administered by the Minnesota Pollution Control, Control Agency. So he will be here until mid August next year office out of the uh, Park and Recreation Administrative Office at the Rec Center. Um, <clears throat> so those are kind of the items I wanted to point out uh, related to Green Corps. There's one further topic. Uh, I mean, I'll point out that the uh, the nursery is going well, the gravel bed nursery. If you haven't seen it, it's down at our shop on Front Street. It's not gravel, it's pea rock. But those bare root trees, deciduous trees, are doing very well. And then we've got some container trees still um, in the nursery, both uh, coniferous and deciduous. And we have plans to get those in the ground before winter in various park and trail areas. So over the next month to six weeks, we want to get those in the ground. Uh, and Shane has a very good uh, a map system where we, we've got the specific locations and species identified where they're going to go. Um, we're not certain if we're going to be able to purchase more trees uh, yet this autumn. Uh, but it appears that the commission has maybe some funds remaining, and uh, I'm still trying to determine whether the Park and Rec Department has funds available. We may have funds available, but just not the time uh, or the ability to get to purchase more trees and get them in the ground uh, before winter. And then maybe the final thing I want to mention related to Green Corps and Shane is that. Um, I'd like to host a small gathering, kind of a party for him, congratulating his successful first year. Um, and uh, I've talked to him extensively about this, and we think the most logical possible time to do it would be after, immediately after the next meeting, mm -hmm. uh, the November meeting. And uh, we'll have to check the council chamber schedule, whether it would be available here or elsewhere. Immediately after our meeting, we would have a social provide hopefully some uh, refreshments and, and snacks 
invite the volunteers. He was very adamant that he wanted to invite the volunteer, uh, all the volunteers that have worked on tree initiatives, including the inventory volunteers. So put that on your radar and hopefully before uh, the end of September or early October we'll have invitations put together and, and details for um, a, uh, a gathering to celebrate uh, year one and, and uh, welcome year two as far as green car <coughs> goes. So do think about that please. That's really all I have to to uh, mention about Green Corps and uh, report on, on some of Shane's activities. Very good. Any questions, comments? Okay. Utility bill stuffer mailing uh, flyers. Okay. Swanson. Um, well, I have reserved April and August for the Tree Advisory Commission for the 2018 year. Um, and I guess, um, I guess where we're at currently, I don't know if we want to discuss the previous mailer or ideas for the next mailer at this time. I guess I don't have any comments. It seems a little early to talk about April. Okay. Did anyone have any uh, feedback on the, the August mailer? Um, it, uh, I thought it, it, I thought it came good. off well mm -hmm. and yeah. it was, it was very it readable. Yes, mm -hmm. clear. Look, look great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, good. Otherwise, I didn't hear a word. So. Mm -hmm. William, thanks you. Thanks for helping with all that. Yeah, not a problem. <clears throat> I guess uh, maybe uh, thank Ellen for her short uh, article as well. So. Uh, yeah, and Jeff Anderson and engineering helped also. I know there was. It's a group effort and. <clears throat> I think it's a great uh, program of the commission to, uh, um, you know, extend some public awareness through the utility billing flyers. Okay, moving on through the agenda, we have the Big Tree Contest 2018 ideas. Uh, my perception is it'll be kind of an ongoing discussion, but uh, we did conduct that uh, contest this year and it's been going on for a number of years and the publicity has been out on that so I think it'll be unless we have any did you have something yes yeah th the journal didn't do an article this year I, I unless I missed it but I know the year before when we had the black walnut they did a little um, took a picture of the owner in the tree and I thought that was very nice I wonder if we couldn't mm -hmm. yeah that's forthcoming it is the, coming uh, okay. good, good. yeah Good. Um, the winner, the 2017 winner. Good. I also want to point out the last page of your packets, page 69, you mm -hmm. know, is the list of past species and mm -hmm. a potential list of future, future species. Okay. So if you wanted to uh, decide to this month or uh, next meeting. I uh, think we should hold off until we have more of too. our members here to have input. That's my feeling to get uh, more of a group here, group mm -hmm. feeling on that. Since since it's uh, what nine months away yet before mm -hmm. we, we could do it in November. I'm seeing there's a big box elder on there. That would be an interesting one. <laughs> okay, home show as our final item of old business. Any comments on that? That's yeah. six months down the road. Yeah. I don't think you need to take action. Um, you know, if, uh, other than planning to participate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on to new business. We have none listed. Are there any new business items that need to be addressed at this time? Yes, I may have a point of yes, new of business. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, just an announcement. I've uh, accepted a, a new position uh, with the, I guess, Rochester Public Utilities. So this will most likely be my last meeting here. And I'd just like to thank the uh, Tree Commission for the years of uh, work, good work you've done, and uh, my involvement here. So I've uh, been uh, happy to be a part of it, and uh, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Hearing no uh, additional new business, we the f uh, next item is the next meeting notice of November 2nd. 2017, 4 p.m. in these council uh, chambers. Let's, uh, no hearing no other business, um, can call for an adjournment. I make that motion. 
And now the second. All in favor? Aye. Very good. Aye. Meeting adjourned.